The Korean War, which lasted from 1950 to 1953, was a conflict between North Korea and South Korea that had far-reaching implications for the global stage. Understanding the history of the Korean War is crucial for comprehending the lasting impact it has had on the Korean Peninsula and the world as a whole. The roots of the Korean War can be traced back to the end of World War II, when Korea was divided into two separate nations along the 38th parallel. The Soviet Union occupied the northern half, while the United States oversaw the southern half. Tensions between these two administrations began to escalate as ideological differences deepened, with the Soviet-backed North Korea embracing communism and the US-backed South Korea embracing capitalism. On June 25, 1950, North Korea launched a surprise invasion of the South, aiming to reunify the Korean Peninsula under communist rule. The sudden aggression caught the South Korean forces off guard, and within days, North Korean troops had advanced rapidly into the South, capturing its capital, Seoul. Alarmed by this swift advance, the United Nations Security Council passed a resolution calling for military intervention to repel the invasion. The United States, as one of the permanent members of the Security Council, took a leading role in the military intervention. In a multi-nation effort, troops from several UN member states were sent to aid South Korea in resisting the North Korean invasion. The counteroffensive led by the UN forces, spearheaded by General Douglas MacArthur, quickly turned the tide of the conflict. Under MacArthur's leadership, the UN forces mounted a daring amphibious assault at Incheon, a strategic port city on the western coast of South Korea. The successful operation allowed the UN forces to retake Seoul and push back the North Korean troops back across the 38th parallel. It seemed that victory was within reach. However, the situation changed dramatically when China, fearing the potential encroachment of Western powers on its border, entered the war on the side of North Korea. The Chinese intervention pushed the UN forces back, and the conflict became a brutal stalemate for the next two years. Despite numerous attempts to break the deadlock, fighting remained static along the 38th parallel, resulting in heavy casualties on both sides. Finally, in July 1953, an armistice was signed, effectively ending the Korean War. The agreement established the Korean demilitarized zone, a buffer area separating the two nations, and ensured a ceasefire. A formal peace treaty, however, was never signed, leaving the Korean Peninsula technically at war to this day. The Korean War was a pivotal moment in global history. It not only solidified the division of Korea into two separate nations, but also marked the first armed conflict of the Cold War. The intervention of the United States and the UN demonstrated the commitment to containing communism, while China's involvement showed its determination to safeguard its borders from perceived threats. Moreover, the Korean War left an indelible mark on the Korean Peninsula. Families were divided, and the scars of the conflict continue to be felt by many to this day. South Korea, which emerged as a vibrant democracy and economic powerhouse, stands in stark contrast to its northern neighbor, which remains one of the most closed-off nations in the world. In conclusion, the Korean War holds a significant place in history, shaping not only the Korean Peninsula, but also international relations during the Cold War era. Understanding its historical context and consequences is crucial to grasp the complexities of the Korean situation and its global implications. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.